I'm going to show you how to turn on Vocab Builder, which will help you hide some buttons temporarily. This is also on page 123 of your spiral bound large um, accent manual that should have come with your device. So what we're going to do is just use the menu, which I've changed to down here. And up on the top, you'll see Vocab Builder. If it's not there, you can modify your shortcuts and add Vocab Builder, but it should be one of the ones that's already there. So when you go into Vocab Builder, you'll first need to you know, turn it on, which is this little button here. When you do that, one quick thing to do is just to hide all the buttons, which means everything will go gray, and then just touch the ones you wanna light up. So let's say you just wanna work on stop and go. So let's light up go and let's light up stop. And that's all you want. So then you would exit the menu. And now all you are left with is stop and go. None of the other ones will activate or say anything. Um, go, stop. And that's all you have. And if you wanna go back to the full, which is recommended whenever you're not doing a structured activity, because um, you want individuals to be able to explore, um, you would just go back to Vocab Builder and then you can turn it off. There are ways to create lists that you can load if you have lots of different ways you wanna use this, but if you just wanna do it quickly, you just turn it on, you can show all or hide all, and then just pick your buttons. So let's say we want to do play, but we wanna just have Tomoko and YouTube available. Then we would exit, and now whenever play is selected, play. we just have these two that we can navigate in and out of. Those are on other videos um, that I created around how to make those buttons navigate. Okay, that's it.